all characteristics of huntington disease from the involuntarily dancing movements to the irritability to the memory loss can ultimately be traced back to a small change in the huntington gene on chromosome 4 people who have huntington disease have a huntington gene that is slightly larger than usual the gene is bigger in a region where three letters of code CAG are repeated many times. The number of CAG repeats varies from person to person. People without Huntington have between 9 and 35 repeats. People with Huntington have between 36 and 121. People with 36 to 41 repeats may not ever show signs of disease while a person with 50 or more repeats usually show signs before age 20. An excess of CAG repeats in the gene changes the shape of protein produced from the gene. Each CAG repeat in the gene adds a particular amino acid, glutamine, into the protein. If there are 41 CAG repeats, there will be 41 glutamine in the protein. With so many glutamines, mutant protein folds into a different shape than normal. Mutant protein interacts with all sorts of other proteins that might normally be ignored, particularly in the spiny neurons deep inside the brain. Inside neuron, the other proteins cut mutant protein into two. One of the pieces finds its way into the neuron's nucleus, where the cell's DNA resides. As more and more mutant proteins are cleaved, the pieces accumulate in the nucleus and starts to clump together. However, the role of clumps in the Huntington disease is unclear. Many researchers believe that the clumps directly kill the cell, but most believe the clumps are harmless byproducts of mutated Huntington protein. What mutant protein is doing is still a mystery. Recent research has even questioned the presumed role of cleaved Huntington fragment in the disease and instead pointing a finger at the full-sized mutant protein. Whatever this protein is doing to the brain cells, it starts before much cell death has occurred, not until the later stages of Huntington disease when the patient became more rigid and stable to communicate 